Okay, this one's Rendering 7 tutorial, and uh, it's based on shadows. Now, I was hoping getting into it that I'd actually be making a scene like this, because that's like really freaking cool, but uh, instead, I get something that resembles this, and it doesn't even, it wasn't the best of tutorials in my opinion. Um, details, you know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of neat things, like something I discovered here, I'll show you real quick, where is it? that I discovered was actually really kind of cool. I didn't know that um, Unity had this feature. If I can find it real quick. Where is it? Yeah, I think it's right here. You can actually see the uh, the regions. So what I didn't know was uh, Unity actually has um, cascaded shadows and you have the capability to be able to uh, have more or less layers away from the player that uh, determine the level of shadow. So the further away, the more the shadow will be emphasized and everything. And this consumes processing power uh, to make it so where shadows are there. And by decreasing the demand for objects that are further away, um, it's a clever way to uh, to diminish the uh, the requirements for the CPU and the GPU to be able to do this. So in any case, um, here's the project over here I was taking a look at and I'm just checking to make sure that everything's working and here is the tutorial let's go over to the if I can actually get it to come up full screen, there we go now I've mapped the uh, mouse movement in this, I've basically recreated the tutorial exactly as I saw it and uh, I've mapped each key to, the, to light sources here so as you can see each one, the shadows are pretty cool you know, so each one we've got a shader that's working for uh, to handle sh multiple shadows and different lighting arrangements and that kind of stuff. So you can see the different effects that it has based on a spotlight that's coming. Or we do um, directional light that's actually coming from up above. And you take off these spotlights real quick. And you've got another directional light that I can turn on here. And this one comes from the side two directional lights so you can actually see the superimposing shadows at work which is really kind of cool then we get another shadow working in so now we got three shadows there and we got three shadows here with different uh, so you can see right there you've got three different shadows working so it's actually pretty uh, you know I mean the shadowing features and everything you have to play with it a little to be able to get it to work like this but I thought it was a decent tutorial altogether. I mean, not my favorite and everything. It was definitely <laughs> not as good as some of the other ones, but it was still interesting enough that, uh, you know, I'm definitely keeping moving forward on these. Anyways, I thought I'd share. There must be a keystroke to end this, right? i got to figure that out. How do you end it with...